Hey Gemini, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to see what's going on with you guys. If this is your reading, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware when I upload these readings, all right? Don't want to miss out. Um, I am available for personal love readings as well. Your extended bonus reading is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel for February 2022? Check it out if you're interested. All right, let's jump right in. Messages for Gemini. Clear, concise, accurate messages. All right, Gemini, what is the challenge for you guys? We have the temperance in reverse, okay? You could be done with the Sagittarius. I feel a lot of you've lost your patience for a situation. I feel like you've been incredibly patient, waiting for something to happen. And now there's a time where you're kind of like, that's it. Now, some of you, you may be allowing a situation or person to affect you in a way that is not, um, you know, making you feel at peace, okay? There's something here where you're feeling, feeling very anxious or worried or out of your element. You're not in alignment with yourself. It's affecting you day in and day out, okay? And so there, this could be like a reminder for you to really do what you need to do to ground yourself, okay? Um, to control your feelings, your emotions, okay? Let's see. Let's jump right in. Give me the recent past. The Eight of Swords in reverse, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Two Swords. It looks like in the past you had to make a really difficult decision. I feel like this required you to make a head of a heart decision about a connection. Um, now, this could have been a commitment, a relationship, maybe a family connection here. It could be in a marriage. Um, but something here that you've been holding on to and you had to release it. And that could be why the Two of Swords is here. Because with the Eight of Swords, you've been in your head. There's been anxiety. There's been worries. There's been frustrations. And I feel like it wasn't until you made this decision that you tried, uh, you were able to release yourself from that energy, okay? So the current energy, let's see. The current energy is the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you guys, you are very much in that energy of, you know, working on yourself, your finances, um, you know, your spirituality, your money, whatever that may be that's provi providing you with some form of stability and security. Now, the Three of Cups is in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So the reason why you're doing that, why the priority is, um, you know, you your investments, your money, your family, whatever it may be, is because you're dealing with people, um, and this could be dating or one particular individual, you're dating with people or person in particular who um, you're either not getting along with, um, you guys are just not equally yoked, there could be a situation where you've given, given so much more, okay, and you haven't been getting back what you deserve, okay? So there's a situation here where you've been investing in people and situations in love, perhaps, and you haven't been getting the same treatment, the same love or loyalty or respect. And so it's now calling for you to now put your focus in other areas of your life. Okay, so that's what it looks like to me. I also feel like there's the energy of you not really being interested in dating or maybe dating hasn't really been fulfilling for you. So in the current time, you could be more focused on tangible items, tangible things, things that matter, investments, okay, for the long term. And dating it could be like one of those things. It's like, I'm not trying to do that right now. So let's see what could be coming in for the near future. We have this King of Cups energy, we have the Hermit, and we have the Page of Wands. Now, there could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you got Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries here, energy. Um, there's definitely someone here in your life that um, you've been doing a lot of deep thinking about. Maybe they've been doing a lot of deep thinking about you. And I feel like, you know, when you go into this Hermit, you're really contemplating something. There's a lot of reflecting going on. There's some inner work. There's some looking at yourself, right? Maybe how you showed up. But there's something here you're going to be finding out answers. And I feel like whatever you're finding out, it could allow you to move in this new direction with this person. I feel like there is a desire. There is a, a need or um, a wanting for change, wanting for change change moving in the direction with the page of wands so we're going to see where that takes us um gemini on your mind we do have the six of wands with the wheel of fortune in reverse so it looks to me like something here area in your life hasn't been working out it hasn't been victorious right it, it seems like um there's been a lot of changes that have worked against you in some way at least you feel like you know why is this happening you know you question like why is this even happening so yeah there's something maybe regarding love things haven't worked out in the way that you envisioned it um, but there's also something you're going to be getting some kind of achievement. There's something kind of some kind of recognition. Um, someone may be noticing you with the six of wands. Someone may want your attention. OK, so it may feel like things aren't working out. Maybe you're attracting the wrong type of attention with that energy. Um, let's see what's in the foundation. 
the knight of swords in reverse we have the judgment in the verse and the queen of wands let's get one more card the emperor in reverse i feel like whoever you're dealing with i feel like they they're not really speaking their truth i feel like there's a lot of holding back or withholding of communication right now i feel like this is someone that may have made a bad decision with regard to you and they know it okay because their things haven't worked out for them either in fact i feel like the emperor in the verse is someone who um you know continually makes bad decisions or bad judgment calls about you about the connection or bad decisions that have affected this connection and it looks like their life is not um in control like they're they're losing control of their things of their own life you know um i also feel like this is someone that may have um have a still a lot of desire for you i feel this person is very much attracted to you they see you as a go-getter you're doing good things you're doing big things um others of you guys this could be like a third party that they were dealing with okay and this third party could have certainly interfered with this connection and caused them to make bad decisions okay so just take it how it resonates the queen of wands could be a leo sag aries or again a third party a karmic or some sort this person has been holding back quite a bit and i think this is why you're the wheel is in reverse okay this is someone that you may have cut out of your life maybe you decided to block them and therefore you guys are not communicating i also feel like you could have blocked this person because of the communication you know maybe the communication just was very very difficult and so you had to release this person okay so let's see i do see a judgment in reverse we're gonna see what this is all about some of you guys they made a decision and they could be going back on a decision or they made a bad decision to pass it just depends okay so we're gonna clarify and get you more messages gemini sun moon rising and venus what messages do we have for gemini's give me the energy of the temperance king of wands and the seven of swords all right so leo sag aries there's definitely a situation where someone you feel has deceived you and i think that's why you're feeling anxious and worried and frustrated because someone that you feel maybe you know you're really close to um you expected more from and you feel like they hurt you they deceived you went behind your back and did something that you didn't appreciate so there's the energy of you really trying to get back control over the situation but you're feeling like i'm getting like livid i feel like there's an energy with the temperance of earth where you've lost your patience so give me the recent past why is the eight of swords here oh okay the tower the tower is in reverse with the two wands in reverse. So this is telling me why a decision had to be made. Because it got to a point where things were very unstable, um, not secure. It brought forth a lot of drama, chaos. Um, it was a lot of uncomfortable energy. And I feel like with the tower, there was a big shakeup with regard to a connection. And it forced you to make a decision. Because the two wands, you're literally having to make a decision. Do you want to keep going? Uh, yes or no left or right okay so there's a decision that you had to make and i feel for the majority of you guys this was a really difficult decision but you were under a situation or in a situation where you know you had to make a decision right then and there okay and some of you you felt very stuck you felt tied you felt unsure you may have felt like you weren't seeing everything you didn't know everything um but the two swords some of you guys you had to cut something out this could be a scorpio gemini libra Aquarius the devil wow so that explains a lot i don't even need to grab another card you could be freeing yourself from someone that you felt was toxic for you or didn't have your best interest at heart with the devil in a verse there's something that you had to let go you released you you cut ties with okay and again that could have been a really difficult decision especially if you saw some kind of stability with this person especially if you were in a marriage or you had a home you shared assets with this person okay so give me the energy of the let me see the queen of pentacles this could be your energy for sure the death okay so you're going through some kind of death change right now transformation in your love life love in general life in general there's big big changes taking place um and i feel like you're having to be open to this change that you're that you're going through why is the six of pentacles in reverse five of cups in verse and the four of swords now there's definitely someone here that you silence or you're not talking to i feel like it, it could be like an estranged relationship right now um maybe even awkwardness but the five of cups is a lot of regrets a lot of disappointment like why did you hurt me why did you just you know why did you do that to me there's also the energy of feeling really sad and and really um doing a lot of deep thinking about a past situation you you tend to think about this person quite often um but there is some kind of stress associated with it so i feel like with the six of pentacles in verse i feel a lot of you guys you're not willing to extend yourself to this person you feel like you've done enough you've you've overdone it okay you've 
tried to really make things balanced and fair and you may have felt like you, this person took advantage of you okay so there's a situation where there's some anxiety about the situation you have not overcome it you have not fully put an end to it because the death card is still here okay so why is the three of cups in reverse i feel like there's just a need for change but I don't see you necessarily being thrilled about coming together with this person or reconciling. I also feel like you're just not thrilled about dating in general. Yeah, two of pentacles. There's something here where you're weighing options. Why is it two of pentacles? The strength. There's been a lot of challenges here for you, Gemini. You could be dealing with the Leo. There's been a lot of challenge and therefore you may be looking at love. You may be looking at dating very differently and certainly this person. So I feel like with regard to this person, you know, you've maybe had some time to really think about this uh, situation. I'm getting four weeks five weeks four months five months okay we have the four of swords and the five of cups you've been doing a lot of thinking about it and there will be a situation or a time where you're going to have to now figure out what's next right two pentacles and you're kind of going back and forth on the idea of maybe continuing with this person um but it's calling you to be very strong in this moment okay um you've you've gone through a lot especially with the tower in the recent past and the devil okay so give me the energy of the wheel in reverse for you gemini the sun in verse. What it looks like to me, if you feel like everything, just nothing makes sense anymore. My whole life is doomed. Nothing is working out for me. Really, really look at this, these two cards, okay? It may feel like right now things are, you know, at the all time worse, right? It can't get no worse than this. But the sun is in reverse. So right now you're not seeing something. There's a lot that may be hidden, a lot that's happening behind the scenes you have no idea about, okay, with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. I also feel the Suniverse being the happiest card in the, in the tarot deck, right? It just means something is delayed. So again, you're not aware of this. There's something that has to come to light. And I do feel like you're going to be, um, there's healing that will be taking place as well. Now, why is the Six of Wands? It could be someone who wants your attention. Are you getting someone's attention? Yeah, Eight of Cups in verse with the Queen of Cups. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is someone here that may reappear in your life with the Eight of Cups in verse. Someone that you decided to walk away from or they decided to walk away from you. There is some kind of return because someone hasn't been happy. In fact, I feel like someone really misses the love, the loyalty that you gave them, the affection, the, the compassion. It, it, it's a whole different kind of love. So I feel like there's someone who's returning to you and that could be making you feel like, oh, wow, I didn't know you were so interested. I didn't know you still cared for me. You know, Six of Wands, like you're able to achieve something or there's something that you're going to be very proud of. Now, give me the energy of this person. I want to look at this person's energy. It could be the same person. It could be another person. Why is the Knight of Swords? This person isn't telling you something here. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands in verse. This person is, is going to tell you or, you know, there's the energy of, you know, holding back something. So whether you find out or not, there, there's something this person isn't telling you about um, how they feel right now. And it doesn't look like this person is doing very well. And I think a lot of you guys, the reason why you may have not been... Um, hearing from this person is because well first off they have nothing to say <laughs> perhaps but um i feel like they don't want to say it. it's not so much they don't have anything to say it's like they don't want to tell you this okay because this is someone who's feeling at their all time low okay the ten of swords is not a good energy they've hit rock bottom they're unsure of how to move forward they're feeling um you know devastated by something that has happened and it's almost like they don't have the ability to give this another shot right now the nine of wands in verse they've completely just kind of given up why is the judge in verse but they are still thinking about a decision that they may have made six of swords so if they made a decision they do recognize that this was a bad decision or wasn't the best decision because it even looks like this person is trying to move away from some kind of conflict they have with you a conflict that they created there's someone here who wants to resolve a matter and move into peaceful waters with you now who is this and what is this queen of wands about i feel like this queen of wands is a distraction Three of Pentacles, yeah. This Queen of Wands, for a lot of you guys, is a third party. It could be a third party mother figure. It could be a co-worker. It could be a friend. It could also just be a romantic interest. There's some kind of third party that has been interfering in their ability to come towards you and make better decisions. Now, what can they expect? What can Gemini expect from this Emperor in reverse? Someone who hasn't been making the best decisions. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you can't expect much from this person, especially if they're not in a place of stability, okay? I feel like this person is not a, in a place where they want to be. I feel like there could be a lot of ties they have to someone maybe in a codependent connection i feel like they're, they're they're going through maybe even some kind of financial troubles okay they're not grounded they're not stable and i feel like in this place and time they don't have much to offer okay so this could be a taurus virgo capricorn now we do have something about you know going within finding maybe finding yourself doing some inner work why is the hermit it could be a virgo five of pentacles and the nine of cups in verse it looks to me like, you know, Gemini, there's something about you not hearing from this person, and this can be your person as well, so 
feel free to switch the roles there's something about not hearing from this person that's going to really make you um you know unhappy or dissatisfied and please it's like you know there's the energy of you being disappointed so it could be the simple fact this person comes in or they try to make peace with you but then they don't really offer anything right because ten of pentacles in reverse so i feel like there is some kind of disappointment or dissatisfaction with that but we also see you moving in a new direction page of wands could be a fire sign coming towards you temperance so spirit is saying there's something about timing the timing just isn't right for you and this person right now it looks like it wasn't right in the past and it's still not right coming into the future unfortunately at least the upcoming future okay um it's telling me that you really have to think about this as well i feel like in this period of hermit for you gemini you could be getting a lot of insight and direction about how to move forward and deal with this type of connection but i feel like this person um they certainly could be feeling the loss or the you know the effects of the separation just as much as you are the five of pentacles is here so it's almost like again this person either feels left out in the cold feels abandoned by you or feels in this place of lack where they can't do anything about it they don't have the stability they don't have the finances you know there's something here where they're not in a good place um right now in general to be able to move forward with you and offer something so i feel like this person may come in to communicate but you know i wouldn't expect much with the temperance okay because there's still something that has to happen i'm getting timing Timing may still not be on, you know, this person's side in order to really make an impact and move this forward. So I feel like in the meantime, this person is not going to be able to really open up their heart or express love. I feel like there's some unfinished business here with this person, especially with the Queen of Wands in their environment. This person has some unfinished business and it's not until they perhaps move away from this connection that they'll be able to really take action towards you. So they may be coming in with the Page of Wands, but I wouldn't expect it to really go anywhere, Okay. So uh, going back to the challenge, you know, again, timing, temperance, right? Um, we have the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. So as much as you want this person to take action towards you, be mindful that the Seven of Swords, there could be something this person isn't telling uh, you. There could be a lot of things going on that you have no idea about. Um, they could be deceiving you, okay? Not that their intention is to deceive you, but there could be something, you know, they haven't told you that they honestly may not feel comfortable to tell you because the knight of swords and verse they're not telling you everything and it could be literally because they're ashamed of it ten of swords five of pentacles okay um ten of pentacles and verse they could be ashamed of where they are right now all right so my gemini's that's what i have for you guys um so many messages i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like your comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you're aware when i upload these readings you don't want to miss out all right take care bye